In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve a sore throat in seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I'm going to show three methods to quickly relieve a sore throat, even within seconds. I'm going to show easy exercises that are going to cover all of the bases, pretty much from fixing sinus and nasal congestion, just allowing that to drain, even more so if you have a stuffy nose, to helping to improve lymph flow to flush out mucus, bad bacteria, anything that might be causing that sore throat. And I'm also going to throw in a really good tip at the end of this video, so definitely don't miss out on that. But all of the methods, they work just a little bit differently. Go through them all and use what gives you the most relief. So with that being said, let's get started. Here's a sore throat remedy that I learned about a couple years ago, and it was one that I was really skeptical about at first because I just couldn't wrap my head around, how does this work? It's like voodoo magic. But it does, and it works quickly. It's called the two minute sore throat fix. And what makes this one unique is because instead of focusing over the front, over the spot of soreness, we're actually going to target the opposite side, the back of the neck. It works by increasing circulation, especially with the limp right here over the neck, to flush mucus, congestion, bacteria, anything that might be leading to an infection causing that sore throat. And it's really easy to do. I'm going to show two different ways to be able to do this. The first one you can do pretty much anywhere, standing, seated, at work, it's again really easy to do. So let's start off by just identifying the spot in the neck that is most sore or the most painful. Take two fingers and just press right in the front part of the neck. Let's say for me it's right above the Adam's apple. What we're going to do is now trace backward towards the back of the neck until we are over the muscles directly across from the spine. We're only going to press into muscle with this one, not over the spine. So again, we're just going straight back like this. You're going to start to press into that area. And for most people, you're going to find a pinpoint spot very quickly. Maybe it just feels like muscle soreness. For some people, it might be actually sharp pain, a muscle knot, trigger point, anything like that. But we really want to identify those tight, achy spots on the back of the neck. So press in there where you're going to have a very good self-massage but not causing any agony. From there, I'm going to do a head retraction. That is bringing my head backward as much as I can until I start to feel those muscles in the neck start to fire or activate. And then I'm going to do a slight chin tuck towards my chest just like this. You should really feel a good stretch forming into those muscles and at this point you're really going to be able to use your fingers to dig into that tight achy spot. Actually, I actually feel a really good muscle knot right here on my uh, right side. So I'm just going to start off by doing a light circular massage into that area. What you want to do is keep doing this until you really start to notice that the soreness in the front part of the neck starts to go down or disappear. It's, again, it's just kind of like magic. And it usually works really quickly. For me, it can be anywhere from 15 seconds all the way up to about 45 seconds. But just keep pressing into that area until the soreness disappears or it kind of plateaus and you're not getting any more relief. From there, what you're going to do is relax and then Go back to the front of the neck. What you're going to notice is that soreness, that spot of soreness has probably moved. For me, it went down just a little bit like this. It generally goes downwards. So now what you're going to do is repeat this process. You're going to trace back towards the back of the neck, find those new spots. You're going to do your head retraction, chin down like this, and then just keep massaging in there until you feel that soreness go away. You want to do this over and over again until you pretty much get rid of all of that soreness throughout the throat. Again, it's magic, it really does work. Some general tips with this one too, you can use this throughout the day. It's especially good anytime that you feel like you are starting to feel soreness build in the neck, or if you want to use it just as a preventative means to keep circulation going through the neck right here to avoid a sore throat later on. So this sore throat remedy is called the five point throat massage. It's going to be a blend of a self massage, but also activating our throat muscles, the laryngeal muscles, to cause a vibration into the throat to help break up mucus, congestion, increase lymph flow to flush everything out and hopefully get you some quick pain relief. The only thing I can say about this exercise, it's a little bit goofy. You might not want to do it in public. So what we're going to do is a self-massage, but at the same time, a deep yawning sound, kind of like a 
<sighs> really focusing on activating those throat muscles. And you want to do that and then followed by closing and swallowing the throat kind of with a like that motion, like a tick motion with your tongue. So <sighs> to end with really engaging those throat muscles, that's really important. So the first movement, the first point, is going to be taking two fingers and going right to the top of your Adam's apple. If you press slightly above your Adam's apple, you're going to find a little bit of a pocket, kind of like a divot that you can press into. Press into that area lightly and then do a slow circular massage just like this while doing that yawning motion. So it kind of looks just like this. And I do that for roughly five to 10 seconds and then do about three to five repetitions, really building into it with each repetition. Next, with the second point, we're going to go towards the top of the Adam's apple, but now we're going to go slightly off to the side and then we're going to repeat. The third point, we're going to go towards the side of the neck right here. Pretty much what we want to do, and you might want to do this one in front of a mirror because you'll be able to spot this muscle a little bit easier. There's a thick muscle as you turn your head that will start to appear right on the side of your neck. This is called the SEM or the sternocleidomastoid. So you want to trace that muscle upward towards the bottom of the jaw. Once you find that spot, you're then going to lightly press in that area doing that circular massage and the <sighs> at the same time. You only want to do this one also one side at a time because you don't want to cut off blood circulation going upwards. That's never a good thing. So start on one side, do it on the other side for roughly three to five repetitions. The first, or I should say the fourth movement, what we're going to focus on now is on the outside of the Adam's apple. So take one hand, make a hook with your thumb and your fingers, go right towards the top of the Adam's apple, and what you're going to do is kind of a pulling motion downwards like this while doing that yawning motion. It should take you roughly five seconds to go from the top all the way down to the bottom just like this. And again, I like to do this one for about three to five repetitions, building into each one just a little bit more. The last movement is very similar, but instead what we're going to do is add a wiggling motion in there at the same time. So pull down, wiggle at the same time while doing the yawn. And at that point, do that three to five times. Afterwards, see how you feel. If you feel like everything is loosened up, you have a lot of relief, you're good to go, but you can do this whole cycle for a couple more repetitions if you feel like you need it. And it's a good way just to not only get quick uh, sore throat pain relief throughout the day, but you can also use this as a preventative means. So if you feel that soreness coming on, give this one a try and you may find that it will help prevent it. So a big cause of a sore throat actually comes from above, from sinus issues. When those get congested, you can get what is known as a post-nasal drip. Think of that fluid that comes down slowly in the back of your throat, causing you to cough, irritates it, and leads to a sore throat. So here's some really easy exercises to help open up your sinuses, get some drainage, and hopefully a lot of pain relief. What I'm going to do is focus on the frontal sinus to begin with. That's the top one right up here. So take two fingers, go right towards the top of your nose, and then go right off to the side above the eyebrows, kind of right above the brow right here. You're going to press in there where you're going to get a very gentle self-massage. And you want to do this one lightly for about 15 to 20 seconds. But if it feels good, you can definitely do it for longer. From there, I just relax, and if you want, you can throw in another repetition or two. The next point that I want to focus on is just off to the side a little bit, more towards the edge of the eyebrows right here, and then I'm just going to repeat. You then want to focus a little bit more on the temple right here. So if you go right towards the corner of the eye and go up towards the side, you'll feel two little holes, like little divots in that spot. You really want to press in there and start to do that circular massage. And this one generally feels really, really good. It's a hot spot for tension headaches. So anytime that you just have a lot of stress or you feel like a headache is about to come on, focus on this area. From there, what I want to do is now go towards the outer edge of my ear right here, right at the top of the jaw. So really feel right in that area. You can move your jaw up and down like this too, but you also want to do a nice circular massage in that area to help just really focus on opening up these sinuses. 
Next, we're going to focus on what is called the maxillary sinus, which is right off to the side of the nose. So start right at the top of the nose, and what I'm going to do with this one first to begin with is press right in the corner of my eyes, just like this. And if you do have long nails, definitely you know take caution with this one but just press right into the corner of your nose right in the corner of your eye socket and do a nice circular massage what I'm going to do from there is then go right towards the top of my nose take two fingers and the movement is very easy we're going to hook right at the nose we're going to pull the skin off to the side and then go down with it so I'm just going to hook right in that area pull off to the side and then come down over the cheekbone and I'm going to do this pretty much a couple times over one spot and then I'm going to work down a little bit on my nose and then repeat, running the whole length of my nose. And I'm going to warn you with this one, if you have a lot of congestion, nasal congestion, this can open it up like Niagara Falls and you can get just a lot of quick drainage. So definitely have a tissue ready if that is the case. From there, once we get all of that starting to unclog and come down, let's try to flush it out through our neck. What I'm going to do is take the edge of my hand, my pinky side, and go right off to the bottom, right towards the corner right here of the jaw. The movement is very easy. We're going to press in there, sweep down, but as we sweep down over the throat, I'm then going to turn my hands and then kind of fan with my fingers over my throat, just doing a nice massage just like this. So I'm kind of pressing into that area. I'm then going to sweep down and then I'm just going to use my fingers right here to fan them across the throat. And it usually feels really, really good. But I like to do this one roughly about five to 10 times, just nice and slowly. From there, let's focus a little bit more on the lower part of the throat. So we're going to go right to the top of the collarbone right here. So take two fingers and go right towards the top of the collarbone right here. If you press into that area, again, you're gonna find two divots right above the top of the collarbone. What you want to do is go a little bit above that and just press into that area in the throat and then just move down with your fingers, just kind of sweeping it down just like this. Press in there, sweep down. And I like to, again, do this for about three to five repetitions. Afterwards, feel, see how you're feeling. If it feels like you still have a little bit more congestion, you can definitely start to do this again do the whole complete cycle, a couple sets. You can also just target any spots that you feel are helping you out just a little bit more. But again, this is something that you can do throughout the day to help relieve congestion, but you can also do it throughout the day just as a preventative means so you don't get clogged up in the first place. So one more thing, after doing these exercises, grab a coffee mug, roughly eight to 10 ounces, fill it up with warm water, add a half teaspoon of salt, stir it up, and at that point, you're going to use this as a mixture to gargle with. And you really wanna focus on doing this as long as you can and also allowing it to hit the back of the throat. The salt is a natural way to help destroy harmful bacteria which might be causing your sore throat. Some people like to swallow the mixture. If you would like to do that, you can. I don't like to, I usually just spit it out, but I'll leave that to your discretion. But this is something that you can do a couple times throughout the day. And if you do hate the taste of salt water, I mean, you have a sore throat, who cares at this point? You can add honey or salt to it to make it taste a little bit better. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.